Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil, and in this React Material UI video tutorial, we will learn about the range slider. So in the previous video, we learned about a simple slider. Here we can just select only one value, but in the range slider, you can select a value between the two points. For example, you just want to buy a mobile and you want to choose a mobile between 15,000 to 20,000. Then you can just select a range for that, right? So these are the points of the video. We will use a simple slider. Then we will make it a range slider with the help of value. We have to just put here some airy kind of value in a uh, value, right? Value property. Then uh, we will use the on change property so that we can update it uh, with the state, right? So now let's go to the app.js and let's import a slider. Just write here, import slider from material UI, right? And let's simply use it like this. So by default, it will become on a complete screen. You can see that. So that let's uh, make a div with the some width. So just use here div and uh, let's provide a width and some more text like uh, width can be like 300 and margin so that uh, it, it will be just stay away from the border, right? Then uh, we can just put here like 30. Now it, it will look like a little bit cool, but there is only one value. So let's make it uh, a range slider let's show that the two values here for that we will use a state so just simply use here const and it have the two items well and set well right and uh, these are the destruction of use state and by default value can be like uh, 30 to 40 right as you know by default a range slider have the value from 0 to 100 right so if we just choose uh, 30 to 40 then value will be lie like here to here right so now let's use this well state with the value property of slider right let's put here well now you can see that we got a slide of uh, the well, two values right but whenever i'm just going to slide them i cannot move them right because we have only static value with the state and state is just stick with it so for that we have to just use here on change property and with the on change we will make a call a function so just write here update well or update range right and let's uh, just define here const update range will be an arrow function right and let's just console and we don't need to console here we will directly just update the value and it have the two parameter one for the event and second for the value so value can be the same so that i'm just going to put the second parameter named data and now just use here set well put here data write and now you can see that we are able to just move it from anywhere right so this is the way that how we can use a range slider and how we can make it so if you still have any kind of confusion, you can ask me in the comment box. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video. Bye bye. Take care.